How's it going everyone? Landon with LMR.com. In this video, I'll be showing all of you a general understanding on how to remove the front bumper cover from a Fox Body Mustang. Removing the front bumper from a Fox Body is needed for several different reasons. Those are gonna include servicing the front bumper support, header panel, or really anything you can't get to with the bumper attached to the car. The removal process is going to be done on a 1991 GT, so these steps will be verbatim for you 1987 to 1993 GT owners. Now for you 79 to 86 guys and 87 to 93 LX owners, this process is gonna be dang near identical for you as well. To get started, go ahead and support the front of the car. Remove both front wheels. In this video, we will be removing the splash shields. While this step is optional, it is gonna make life a little bit easier when removing the front bumper to fender retaining hardware. To do this, remove all of the Phillips head retaining screws. There will be one at the front, top, and rear of the fender, as well as four underneath the car. For 87 and 93 GTs, removing the two retaining screws from the spat behind the tire will allow you to gently move the spat enough to remove the rear splash shield retaining screw. Now you can go ahead and remove the four push pins from the splash shield. There are gonna be two on either side of the strut, one near the rear of the K member, and one's gonna be all the way forward underneath the frame rail. With all of the attaching hardware now removed, separate the splash shield from the fender lip and roll the insides of the splash shield toward the strut. Remove the splash shield from the car. Go ahead and repeat these steps for the other side. On the driver's side, remove the five bumper cover two fender retaining nuts with the 716 socket. If you own an 87 and 93 GT, remove the two forward facing nuts from the reinforcement panel. Go ahead and do the same for the passenger side. While you're still underneath the car, remove the lower bumper retaining hardware with the 716 socket. Inside of the engine bay and on the passenger side, remove the header panel to core support retaining nut. This is 7 16 as well, and if your car has a factory airbox, you're gonna to need to position that out of your way. Moving to the driver's side, remove the battery from the tray for a little bit more workroom. Once removed, loosen and remove the 7 16 header panel to core support retaining nut. Finally, remove the two 8 millimeter retaining bolts securing the L bracket to the core support. Carefully bring the bumper forward and rest it on the bumper support. Take this time to disconnect all the electrical connections. Now you can completely remove the front bumper from the car. Reverse these steps to reinstall the front bumper. All right guys, as far as the bumper removal process goes, pretty straightforward. Again, splash head removal is optional, but I promise it's gonna make life easier for you when you have to remove the front bumper to fender retaining nuts. To see more how-to and review videos covering industry-leading products, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go ahead and like this video, and turn on notifications. While you're at it, check out our other videos and shop LMR.com for all things 1979 to present Mustang and SVT Lightning. 